think anybody really knew what to expect with the nut. Um, and it came around mile 12, and everybody was running. People's derailers were snapping off. It was a complete war zone for like three miles. Uh, I think my cyclocross skills came into play there because I knew how to handle the mud and then enough clearance on my bike. So that was my advantage, and I kept the lead from then on. So it was good. It was fun. How uh, was it uh, possible to realize where your competitors were out there? I mean, you had to be always worried about Rebecca Russ for one. And uh, Kristen Peterson, except, well, now Legan, had a great ride as well out there. Were you able to keep tabs on them, or were you riding blind out there? Oh, it was blind. Like I said, I was in the front after about mile 15, and then from there on, I had no idea. And I kind of kept thinking in my head what Rebecca was talking about last night, the rider meet. She kept saying that... You know, she knows how to pace, and she's always going to do better at the end. And I just kept thinking she was sure. always going to come up behind me at some point. But, yeah, it was a, it was a good race. Yeah, well, so when you when you and I gotta tell you, this has been so great here in Victoria today. Uh, the crowd has been fantastic. So, at what point did you start to think, okay, I might have this thing? Uh, maybe not necessarily in the bag, but when did you realize I'm racing to win here today? Um, after the second checkpoint, I wasn't gonna keep my hopes up or get too overly confident until then, because it was still about 40 miles after that, and uh, still a lot of climbing, at least considered, all things considered. But yeah, so after the second checkpoint, I knew if I just put my head down and use the tailwinds to my advantage and, and did as best I could during the headwind section, that I could probably come in and keep my lead to the finish. Fair to say the first half of the race was about surviving and the second half was about racing? Oh yeah, yeah. The, no, the second half was still surviving, but more on the pedals. Like, you could actually pedal the second half. <laughs> right. Um, but yeah, so it was just being strong. So, I mean, you know, while you were out there, I was telling the crowd that you're a, a, an up-and-coming cyclocross racer. I think that's fair. I was telling Rob that I think you're one of the ten best Americans in the sport today. But a cyclocross race is 40 minutes long for you. This was a little bit longer out there today. Have you been shifting your training program or shifting your, uh, your goals even in the sport? No, I think I, cyclocross is still my number one, but I'm good at this long-distance gravel stuff because... I'm the swimmer and I'm the triathlete, so I'm gonna call this thing. Yeah, don't worry. That's what it's been like all day. It's just been this incredible obvious. So, talk to me about how you decided to come. Actually, let's mention you can help me out. You want to do a little announcing? Yeah, sure. Because this is what we see here. We see the riders coming across. We know they were DK 200 riders now because all the hundreds have finished for okay. the most part. But it looked like we had, give them a shout out. Who was that? Scott Erlinson. And then, John looked like he had a good ride with Don Butcher. And of course, Eddie Klein. Nice, you can do this. <laughs> so I was telling the crowd that I also, I thought you were 25 years old. Am I right on yes. that? Yes. Right. Yeah, so uh, now we're having the success here. This is this is the granddaddy of all of these gravel riding races. Something maybe you can dedicate yourself to becoming a specialist in this as well? Yeah, I'd like to. I think. It sounds like that could work. It really could. Yeah. Rebecca Russia, role model for you? Oh, yeah, for sure. Both leading up to this, I was like reading all of her interviews and watching videos on her. Yeah, she's a huge inspiration. It was really nice to know that she was in the race with me. You know, there's no doubt winning. We're talking with Amanda Nauman, our women's winner, Amanda. Winning bike races is great, but beating someone who's a legend, that's even that much sweeter, isn't it? Yeah. I